Okay, let's go and take a look at our quiz problem here. It says solve using the quadratic formula. And here is our quadratic equation. And we want to go ahead and solve that using the quadratic formula. So before you take this quiz, obviously you want to know what the quadratic formula is. And um, you know, hopefully you do. And this is just kind of a practice pop quiz for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the solution. All right, so first of all, let's go ahead and just highlight what the quadratic formula is. This is the quadratic formula, and it's a formula that uh, basically solves any quadratic equation. You definitely need to know it if you're an algebra student, okay? And it's all based upon the way we um, write a quadratic equation, okay? So when we have a quadratic equation written in what we call standard form, that's uh, basically in order of highest to lowest power from left to right. So you can see here I have my x squared part first, and I have my x second, then I have my number um, last, and all that's equal to zero. When you have a quadratic equation written that way, it's what we call in standard form. Now the number in front of the x squared part, or this number we call is a coefficient, is going to be our a value. The number in front of the x part is our b value and the number here is our c value, okay? And then we just go ahead and plug those numbers in to our quadratic formula, okay? And you can see here, if you just want to go ahead and pause the video and see how these numbers were plugged in, okay? And you got to be very careful too, because it's like, for example, let's take a look at this minus b, okay? So minus b is going to be minus the b value. Now, if you notice here, the b value is negative 13. So when I plugged it in, it's going to be a minus, a minus 13, okay? A negative of a negative 13, is a positive 13. So oftentimes students can plug in the values, you know, uh, properly into the quadratic formula, but then they start having problems when they actually have to numerically work out the order of operations and 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 do this work. So you got to be extremely neat and you got to really take your time and watch the details. It's so easy to make a mistake. All right, so you can see how I plugged in the values for a, b, and c here, and when I continue to work them down, okay, you can see I'm simplifying. And if you want to pause the video to kind of really look at the details, I definitely suggest you do that. So I'm, I'm continuing to simplify and simplify and simplify. So I get down to, let's take a look at this part. So it's down to 13 plus or minus the square root of 25. Okay. And the square root of 25 is a positive negative 15. So I'm left with this expression. Now remember a quadratic equation will always have two solutions. Okay, always, always have two solutions. So how we determine that is this. Okay, we have 13 plus or minus 15. So we're going to look at both versions of it. Okay, one solution is going to be 13 plus 15 over 4. Okay, and then the second solution is going to be 13 minus 15 over 4. And when we work out that math, you can see we come up with two answers x is equal to 7 and, and x is equal to negative 1 half and these are our two solutions. Alright so hopefully this was just an exercise in what you already know and if you want to take more uh, pop quizzes like this please join me at homeschoolmathquiz.com especially if you're a homeschooler you'll love the site and have a great day.